this? What is this? What is this we are playing? What is this? We are playing some Pokemon? Oh, isn't that strange? Season 2! I've got some nuts, I want my nuts. I feel like steak powder all over them. It's quite nice. Not quite Hawaiian dancing, but still. I hope you all enjoying the new layout as well. As you can see, I've, I've laid this out specifically with, uh, well, I've got to remember it first. All right, currently now we've still got our usual game edition badge. And up there, what the box already for counting Pokemon now. This screen, oh, that screen, that screen right here, is the top screen of the DS. And this one up here is the bottom screen. I put that mostly there because we're only going to really use that for bags and sort of show. Yeah, this is it. This is not just Soul Silver version. This is the Raven edition. Oh, duh. <laughs> I changed control than that when I was setting up for uh, Get Ready for Trades. It's going to put my controllers back in. Oh. Oh. Why is it not accepting the controls? Right, just give me a second here, folks. I know what's wrong. It's because I put my controller in after I loaded the Game Boy. I set my controller up and then I'll be back in like, well, for you. Right, now that's that sorted. Don't know what's going on there on my controller. For some reason, it just wasn't registering, even though it was correctly installed. So yeah, so we're going to be playing Soul Silver version. I have to bring my... Oh. My screen's not picking up my mouse. Great. Oh. Oh, it's going to bring up the tiny mouse for you guys. I don't know why. It shouldn't be because that's... Uh, I've got it set for a really big mouse. Um, see properties. Yeah, capture cursor. Hmm. Oh, well. I guess you have to just deal with the tiny mouse for when I'm doing things on here. Well, I'll put, hide it under there when it's not being used, so it don't get on your guys' nerves. Yeah, as I was saying a moment ago, this is the Raven Edition. What do I mean by Raven Edition? It means that I put in a few slight changes to the skins. Not to my teeth. Great. The Mario. Strange question to be asking me. Oh, look at that. A skin that's not normally in the game. This is what I mean by Raven Edition. I basically modded the skin for everything. At this time, there is like three sprites I've not done yet. Which we'll be doing in the future, just before we need them. I'm hoping everything works. I did test this extensively to make sure they worked and had to do a lot of stuff. And I actually did a three hour recording of this game, only to realize that I hadn't deleted the save I'd used for uh, all my testing. So I lost all my progress. So we're starting again, basically. This is round two for me. Admittedly, this time we're doing a little bit of uh, meta gaming, if you will. I, I've, I've fully decided that in this version, I'm going to have. For alligator is my part in my party is my water type for the uh, Pokemon League. Now, as we know, we're going to be trading in Pokemon for obvious reasons because we can't get all Pokemon. So, because I want for alligator in my team, I would like my rival, who we will meet later down the line, and is also fully boys, just like uh, this this guy. I always forget his reverse. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's fully voiced. I would like him to have. The Cyndaquil, because in that way Feralgate just kicks his ass immediately. Well, not Cyndaquil, uh, Typhlosion when we get it, so Feralgate will kick his ass. So in order for him to have that, we're going to need Chikorita on this run as our starter. And I've already prepared gold, it's both got the Totodile we're going to trade in, that way if we trade him in, 
it's in our team. It gets the experience boost because it's been traded in. Plus, then we our opponent will have the fire type because we've started with a grass type, so probably it'll kick its ass. And I've also got the Cyndaquil ready to trade in as well, so we'll be trading them in nice and early. Uh, both of them are females as well, and we will be starting off this with a female as well, just so uh, as soon as we can, we can start the breeding, even if we don't have the ditto, because, you know, egg group typing. So. Dirty old man asking for his name, but even that graphics there, it, it took me ages to figure that one out. Uh, who are we? We are... Miss Raven. Miss Raven Falls. I mean, we can't put the full thing in, so it's just Raven. Yes. <laughs> that was also the one that took me a long time to figure out as well how to do that. But yeah, look, Raven, she is fully in. Near enough, every graphic has her in now. I love her hair. Uh, we're going to do as many voices as we can. Hmm. I'm deciding now, do I want to have my mother do some lines? I can get my mother to read lines for me. Hmm. Yes. Just to be awkward. Hi, Raven. You're finally awake. Your friend Ethan was just here. He was playing hide and seek with his Maril. Oh, I almost forgot. Our acquaintance, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he has a favour to ask you. You know where the lab is, right? It's right next door to us. By the way, do you have everything you need to go out? Here, use this bag to carry your things. This is your trainer card. Here you can s save a record of your progress. These are also rather helpful. Just try touching the buttons and you'll know what to do in no time. Right, if that's fully voiced for you, that means my mother agreed to this. <laughs> if not, then <laughs> I've just got some random fucking voice like GLaDOS or somebody to voice it. If my mother won't do it, I'll use GLaDOS. These nuts are annoying me now. But yeah, I'm fully voicing my mother now, uh, one way or another. Professor Elm, Professor Oak. The rival. And all of the gym leaders, possibly. Possibly on that. Uh, the voice simulator I'm going to be using is not online yet. I should actually check it. Is it back online yet? <coughs> Which I have to give full credit for. It will be... Well, I can't even say that. It, it depends whether it's back online or not. If it's not online, then we may have to use a different voice simulator. At which point I can't use the one I would like to use because it's part of their terms of service. So, so there may be some delays on this. Well, you know what I've been for you guys. No, it's not like fuck. <sighs> I hope it comes on soon. Right, just like on the other game, I'm actually going to... Well, I'll show you that in my processing. Uh, I'm going to actually put a drop... So I'm actually going to save it here. I'll do the... I'll do the soft reset technique. It seemed to be a little bit better last time I tried it. Then the drop saves. So we do have access to drop saves if we're doing... Um, Pokemon Battles when it comes to, say, like, OO and Lugia. So Just so we can reload quicker for your guys' entertainment. Uh, we're not using the speed-up technique at all in this. So <laughs> this is going to be a long, drawn-out game. Uh, I may do some speeding up in the editing for you guys where I'll go quiet and just like speed the game up. Or maybe I'll speed that section up for me if it's just me like grinding something. But that, that'll be a much later thing. But right now, I'm going to show you what, uh, how I do this. Um, 
and then I'll do a cut to the final product that we get in female. So, so we need a Chikorita, we need a female one so we can breed it. The first Pokeball, yep, is the Chikorita. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be clicking it. We're going to agree to the terms. When she pops out. We nickname it Chikorita, we click yes. As you can see from the little symbol, there's my mouse there, right up here, it's a male. Therefore, we don't want it, we need the female, so we can do egg group in breeding. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the recording, I'm going to get the female Chikorita, and then we'll continue once I've got a female Chikorita at this stage. So, give me a second. There we go, we have our female Chikorita. As you can see, the symbol is, oh shit, so we don't want to give her a nickname. The symbol is now female, as we see right here. Don't we now know we have a girl to create It took me about 10 minutes to do that. Let me just consistently reset in the game, walk into this, clicking on it over and over again until we got the female Chikorita. So that means now all three starter Pokemon will now be female, which makes it breathing a lot easier. Well. Raven, I want to have these to help you with your task. Okay. <laughs> Don't hesitate to use potions if you think you are in danger. Oh, I'm supposed to be voicing all these. I've been quiet for the last couple of people and now it's just like what into my head. I'm not sure if this guy's no, this guy's not gonna have a voice. He's as often as my nose is really running. Just give me a second. Let's fight it again. There's gonna be a lot of editing in this episode to get this ready for you. There we go. Raven. Yeah, I'm just gonna voice it. Raven! So you pick up the Chikorita. Now take your Pokemon you have. When you walk with it, it becomes more friendly. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes too. Oh, that's right. You don't. Why don't you show it to your mother? See you. Come on, Meryl. Yeah, he's going to go on in life to start a band called Deathlock. <laughs> Don't just buy booze. They're doing food. <laughs> okay. Oh, Raven. That's a cute Pokemon you have. Professor Elm must have given it to you. Oh, Professor Elm has a task for you, you say. What kind of task? I see that sounds a little difficult, but when someone makes that kind of request of you, it must be important. Oh, that, right. I completely forgot. Your pokey gear came back from the repair shop. Here you go. The Pokemon gear, or pokey gear as it is often called, is what every trainer should have. Guess what? You can use the pokey gear to make a phone call too. Do you remember how? Just power on the pokey gear and touch the telephone button, okay? The name of the people you can call are automatically registered. Just select one and give him or her a call. Wow, I can't believe it's so easy to make a phone call. I really do hope my mother agrees to this. If not, I'm going to be very disappointed in her. <laughs> She's quite disappointed. I mean, she, she, she like didn't try to talk me out of joining the military. She actually wanted me to join the military. <laughs> she knew that it would actually do me some good. <laughs> Especially compared to what I was doing. On the other side. <laughs> Creepy old man. How dare you put your phone number in a little girl's phone. Okay, onwards. Ah, oh, first battle! Right, this sprite right here. Do this slide animation took me fucking forever because it's bloody encrypted. And every time I did the encryption thing, it basically gave me a different result. It took me like a, uh, at least a month to figure it out. Tactical chicken reader. All right, we're also gonna need two junk Pokemon so we can bring in the two trades. And of course, we're doing the living decks again. This is gonna be fun. So far, the only Pokemon I can guarantee I want is I want a Feraligatr. We also need a flying type. Um, 
I've looked through the list of... Well, make it. I didn't actually look through the list of Pokemon I could learn HM Fly. I should probably do that. So, so, uh... so we can get a full list because I think at the moment we're, we're trying to aim for just using Gen Two Pokemon as my final party. Similar to how we had really only used Gen Ones in the original. I mean, yeah, we did have Tyranitar. Time. We only used it for like one fight in the post Pokemon League stuff, but I would like to just use the Gen Twos if possible this time around. So we might be using the Noctowl as our flyer. Blue, 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 blue. Uh, no, that's not probably the there's, there's me hoo hoo. Right, I can definitely get it in this area. I was trying to get it on my last run, I can never find get the fucker to show up. Oh, I, I went to the fight, but alright. You can go away. If I bring up the other Pokedex list, uh, you. I should be able to actually bring up the HM itself, which should tell me what it is. Well, it should tell me where to find it, and it should tell me who can use it. Right, here's where we speak to another creepy old man who just approaches random little girls. Oh, you're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay. Everyone is a rookie at some point. Here we are. I can teach you a few things. Okay, now follow me. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot that you aren't wearing the running shoes. I'll try to go as slow as possible so you can keep up. You should be able to learn to fly. This is Pokemon Center. You can heal the Pokemon in no time at all. But I wish that they put an option in Pokemon games where you can skip all these tutorials. I've been playing Pokemon 25 fucking years. I know these things. I've been learning them a lot, so you better learn about them. I know this is a shop. I've been this for long enough. This is Pokemon. You can sell Pokeballs and catch Pokemon. Pokemon and other lucky swimes. Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling their Pokemon. If you go a little further, you can see Mr. Pokemon's house. I know it's itching again. It always itches whenever I record. Right, we want the Gen 4 version. This is the sea, you can see. Some Pokemon are found only in the water. Right. Uh, levels. TMs, HMs, HM. Fly. There we go. Here is my house. For your efforts keeping up with me, I'll give you my running shoes. They're still warm. Creepy. I'm oh, glad you didn't die. Don't worry, he's a brand new. Remember, receive the running shoes from the guy, Gent. Right, these are all the Pokemon who can learn. There's actually two Pokemon that can learn it through leveling up. Alright. Right, so. I like how Doduo and Dotrio can learn fly. Right, so Noctowl, Crobat, Togekiss, Zaytu, Murkrow, Delibird, Skarmy, Lugia, and Oh oh. Do we have a. We might actually have a Lugia before then. In the instruction 3, touch the sprint buttons, whatever. Press B to hold down to sprint. Right, we can grab press B, or we can basically press on this shoe icon. Which we're just going to do because it saves me pressing the all the time. Actually, no, we're going to take that off because then I can control it a bit better. I don't know how I actually feel about the running animation backwards. I guess it works. <laughs> I made it. I forgot about one thing. This is another token from me. Take it. The guy Jen loaded up the map key card. Yeah, whatever. Oh, for fuck's sake, my nose is fucking itching again. Yeah. Right, to turn the puppy gear, uh, out. You'll see a map of the region, you can see it in the end. Right, you guys have to tell me what you think of this. I think this is a little bit pansy ish for me. If we load up the map, what do you, what do you guys think to my little icon here? It's just Raven's face. Do you think it needs more details? Uh, I don't know. Comment on the bot. Comment in the comments. Tell me, do you think I should put more detail into that little icon? I like how on that overworld sprite her ponytail's a lot longer than it is here. I might have to make a ponytail longer. Oh, please, no. It would be so much effort to try and do that. 
just because uh, you have to do the whole cypher sprite thing. But now I know at least know how it really works and it should be a lot quicker. Hmm. Steak a peanut. Chico! She just looks so gormless. People definitely eat chicory, it's like eggplants. Right, in a world like this, I know that they eat the slow poke tails. And they must eat magic cat stuff it's like, you know, fish and chips. And milk tanks beef, obviously. Same with Tauros. So, in these situations, if they do eat the Pokemon, which I imagine they do, do you think grass types count as a plant or an animal? Is it meat or is it a vegetable? Yeah. It looks like it wants to leave. Well, too bad. I'm in charge. I don't want to talk to you. Pick it up. <laughs> How in the world can you be so obvious to my eye catching house? Or oh, oblivious to my eye catching house. Hold it right there. When you follow that path up north, you will see Mr. Pokemon's house. But before you go, let me finish what I have to say. Do you have an apricot? Apricot should be if it was today. I have one of these trees too. Apricots are really something you can make pokeballs and other things. They're quite useful. I have a feeling this was meant to be because I have something for you. Yay. With the Apricon Blast, you can carry some new plants. Right, there's one thing I do want to check before we continue. I want to look at my trainer card. Is the sprite still working? No, it's glitched again. Right, we're going to have to fix that. I don't know why it keeps doing it. It does it quite a lot. It's like every time I... If I put it in normally, the sprite will work. As soon as I then do any other changes down the line, it breaks that sprite for some reason. Oh, it's pleased to say it hasn't broke the HM sprites as well. Like, have I actually loaded up the right game? Just give me a second here, I just wanna... I wanna confirm I've got the latest edition of this open. Because I use edit files all the time. No, it's not in ROMs, it's in the Pokemon folder. Which gives me edit that came out at 2310 and the Raven version came out at 2310. So, yes, they're both the same. So, yeah, so it's just bugged again. I'll fix it in the next edition. And probably the Fly Sprite as well, because they, they like to break every time. The Grun, Apricot. Grun, there's no ease. So, hopefully, that'll fix. I'm also regretting when we get to the point where I use Flash, because that'll probably break as well. Because that kept doing it as well. Okay, Chikorita. I might in the post editing just like put something over it so you can see what it is and then if it, I need to look at it again and it fixes for at least um, for you guys. Um, and that is annoying, the fact that it's broken that badly. Hmm. Really good peanuts. I still think I prefer sweet chili or honey roast, but no, steak. Why not? It doesn't taste a thing like steak. It tastes like... Like flame grilled crisps. Or chips for our uh, overseas viewers. Though I'm overseas to all of you right now. I don't think many people on this island are really watching because the internet's very limited out here. Unless they're watching me after midnight. And it's free for... Well, squaddies at least. I don't know about everyone else. Nice. Nice. Yeah, so to look to this list, our choices are we can either bring Crowback Wolves or the Noctowl. Hmm. But well, we're going to need Crowbat on us for quite a while because we need to get the friendship up. So maybe we'll use Crowbat. I think it said Zubat and Crowbat. Zubat and yeah, Zubat and Gobat both learn fly. That'll give us a flying poison type. 
as compared to a flying normal type. Oh, why am I using Razor Leaf? It's a flying type. The resist. That, that's me just being a dumb dumb, not paying attention. So yeah, maybe the flying poison type would do a lot better than the flying normal. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with that. We'll, we'll use the Zubat Crobat. He'll join our team. That'll be our second one. Because I think that can learn Shadow Ball, if I'm right in thinking. Which would be quite a useful move. Uh, where's Crobat gone? Crobat, Crobat, Crobat. Oh, oh we could have Murkrow. Dark Flying type. Hmm. So what, we'll go for the Crobat. So six, we need it for a long time anyway to get the French up so we can evolve it. Because we might actually swap it for Lugia down the line. Poison thing. Go down. Can you learn Shadow Ball? No, you can't. Can you learn it via TM? I can't remember what TM is. Come on, Dark Pulse. Yeah, we're going, we're going with that. Crobats join our team. Right, so we've figured out two Pokemon. We've got for Alligator and we've got Crobat. Who may or may not get to swap with Lugia down the line. Who the other's going to be, I don't know yet. So, I don't even know what HMs are in this game. Right, we're not doing the Lavatar build again. I mean, that will be a Pokemon we have to raise, obviously, because... Jesus Christ, that takes a, a while to get up. But I don't see it joining my team. Not permanently, anyway. Um, we might don't want to bring him a cargo because it now gives us the fire type. The cargo would give us a fire type that gives us the ability to hatch eggs a bit quicker. Ooh, oh, we can oh, that's jump four. I was thinking yeah, we could evolve magma. But I, like I said, I want to use Gen 2s, not Gen 4s and 3s and blah, blah, blah. We, we will still try and get the Gen 3s and 4s, obviously, but they won't be joining our team. So maybe I'll bring on my cargo, then. My grass type might use Jump Luff. Do I really want a grass type? So we've got the water and ice. Because I'm going to have for Alligator learn fucking Ice Punch. And Surf. Uh, we've got the Flyer, because we need Fly. And there's Poison and Dark type moves. That could be useful. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe you guys should comment in the comments. What Pokemon do you think I should use? Gen 2 Pokemon only. In that final form, it has to be in Gen 2. That's why Crobat qualifies. And that was used Razor Leaf. Where's a Weef? Yeah, much more effective. Well, Rats have fainted. Loads of experience. I hate the level curve in this game. It... Oh, another Apricorn. Two pulls and whoop. it's a punk. It's a punk. This is going a lot bit smoother than my last attempt. Right. Oh, it's the big man himself again. You must be Raven. It was I who sent the email to Professor Elmer earlier. Yes, sir. Roger Decker Kane. We're here for the Roger Cube. This is what I want Professor Elmer to accept. I've got a mystery egg. Nice. 
uh, my item pocket right there on my leg. A friend of mine from the, from Eki gave it to me. I bet you can find that kind of egg in total. I thought Professor Elm might be able to tell me what this is. It's a best way to for all research. Oh, evolution. That's a quote from the famous Professor Elm. You return to Professor Elm? Yeah, don't miss it. Have some rest. Camera's still working? I can't really see. Yes. Another old man giving me a phone number. Great. What is this? Nothing. What is this? A shop full of Pokemon books. And photo collections. Oh, we all know what kind of funny things you are collecting, Mr. Pokemon. Disgusting. There's a lot of sexual references in this game. Hello. Oh, hi, Raven. So how goes the errand you're helping Professor Elm with? I know you're determined. You'll be okay. I really do hope she agrees to this. If she doesn't, I'm going to be very disappointed. I know I've said it once, but... So, and this will be a long episode for you guys, because I know I've hit the 20-minute mark on this one. It's about 10 minutes on the original. Uh, first episode is really longer than the others, so I'm off to begin with, and about half an hour for the others. No, oh, why's that box coming on the screen? I can barely, I can't really see what I'm doing. This this box has moved. So I need to make it a bit smaller. Basically, the box that was covering up my camera is now covering up part of my gaming screen. Tackle the hootoo. What was the other move we had? Was it Lear or Tail? It's probably Leer. She doesn't really have a tail on it. Not Growl. There was the defense, yes? No, attack. That's just not that useful. It must be Leer that lowers defense. No, if you've got a move that can lower defense, you're probably better off using that at the start of a battle, unless you can like one or two shot it. Just to make it a bit easier to take out the Pokemon. Especially when you know your opponent's not gonna like withdraw them. Like a wild Pokemon. How can a bird growl? So now I don't wanna be here too late tonight either. I'd like to go to the gym in a bit. Actually, no, I said I was going to the gym after midnight, didn't I? So I got the free nap. So I'm probably better off taking a nap before I go to work. Uh, before uh, I go to the gym. Okay. Alright, here comes another bit of voice acting for you. So I hope you all recognise this voice before I name him. You got a Pokemon at the lab? What a waste. That's a Pokemon that's too good for a wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. For those who recognize that voice. <laughs> the passerby boy. It's a Cyndaquil.
Right, it shouldn't know Ember yet, so we should be okay. <laughs> oh, it's got Lear. Oh no, that's Lauren made the fence. I don't know how it can Lear. You're doing you. okay if someone weak. Opens its eyes. It's not like a really creepy stare, is it? Ah, oh, one more hit. See, if I could have used Lear, then it would be down by now. A 69. <laughs> Yay, level 8. <laughs> Are you happy you won? Do you know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer! Give it back! That's my trainer card! Oh no! You saw my name! Yes, we did. But I'm sure all the people at home know who you are anyway. Because, um, you know, we, we often stream together. <laughs> Just a cat with hats for Pokemon battles. <laughs> Who are you? We are investigating the case of missing Pokemon here. Rule number one. Whoever did it came back to the site. Oh my! So you must be the one who did it! Wait, what? Hmm? Hold on a second. She has nothing to do with this. I saw it. It was a red-haired boy, looking into the building. What? You got a boy like that? It must be the one who did it. Did you happen to get his name? Yes. Surprisingly, yes. Yes, I did. It was. Oh! How dare you, Carl? You're a thief! You're a thief, Carl! <laughs> I see! So what was Carl? What's his name? Thanks for helping me investigation. My next assignment to search for the redhead boy. Well, redhead individual, whatever. Redhead, I'm not innocent. You are innocent. See you later. Uh, I thought he always existed. Uh, I honestly hope his voice is actually on it. If their voices are not on this, and I have so to use other voices, I'm going to be deeply annoyed. Okay, I will help too, but what can I do but for I, you? I can't guarantee what I voices know. are in. Every thing. time you receive prize money, I'll save some of it for you. On a long journey, money's important. Do you want me to save your money for you? Okay, I'll take care of your money. Be careful. Pokemon are your friends. When you work as a team, you can accomplish anything. No, go on. Ah, she's a lovely woman. <gasps> it's him! There you are! Let me be my voice. Raven! You look at Pokemon. Pokemon. I don't know.
Married. Okay, so we click fight. Hansery, Hansery. We click tackle. All right, so we've got to tackle them first. I see. Okay, it's good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Personally, I prefer to put them asleep. Well, okay. All right, and then they're going to tail whip you. If they don't tail whip you, you can't catch them. So you got to make sure the Pokemon knows tail. That's good to know. Good to know. All right, I got its HP now. Time for a Pokeball. Okay. So what do we do? We, we click. No, we click. The, I thought we'd click run. That, see, that's where I'm going wrong. That's why I've not been able to play Pokemon right for 25 years. That's why it took last season took me so frigging long. Because you have to click back before you click Pokeball. This guy, this, this kid right here, genius. Also, I gave him the wrong voice. Good to, where it goes good. I didn't even realize I did it. I, I, I might double over that. <laughs> See, just like good. We went through all your targets, basically, more than I did. So, make a good super. You can try all kinds of things, see what works. I'll give you these, good luck. Yeah, put the pause. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Ethan. Right, I might need to load the second game. Oh. <laughs> Get that one adapted for keyboard. Oh, no, too far. I'm not going to show the second game boy on screen because that will be a lot of editing to get that to work properly. Uh, razor Leaf. Wait, why did I use Razor Leaf? Shit. So, is it next third? Yes. Sweet. Audio settings. I need to mute this one because we don't need two Game Boys playing sound at once. I hope this works. I honestly do. Uh, it's not even in the list for some reason. Open ROMs. Just give me, give me a moment here, as I try and work this stuff out. I wasn't expecting to get this far this soon. Uh, Heart Gold version, Heart Gold. <coughs> Jesus Christ, now my cough's back. Look, I'm either always coughing, always sneezing, or scratching my nose. There's something wrong with me. What's up here? Oh, we should be catching Pokemon. Good -hood. Open recent. We need to open up. No, we don't load state. State to six. Right, uh. Yeah, we need to catch at least two Pokemon so we can do junks. I'm still trying to set up the other Game Boy. See, it's not giving me Wi Fi settings. System multiplayer. That should work. Should just work, I hope. If it doesn't, I'll be annoyed. Right, I'm trying to speed up that game, that makes it even slower because can't load or save properly. All right, bag. That's the first Pokeball. Well, hopefully the first Pokemon I meet. Sweet. Hoot, hoot. 
It has perfect sense of timing when Earth moves and keeps rhythm by precisely tilting its head in time. No, we would not like to give a nickname to Hoot Hoot. <gasps> There's an item! I a potion. See, this is why I investigate every corner. Hoot Hoot! Right, we need one of these for the box. Also, we still need a second jump Pokemon, so... Well, I guess we can catch that one then. Here's Chikorita. I said we needed it for two purposes, you murdered it. Oh, and then you let oh, poison powder. Nice. I don't mind poison powder so much. I prefer sleep powder. Hoot, hoot. Chico. Right, if we use Razor Leaf, that's not as powerful against flying types. Right, the second Gale Boy should now be set up. I hope it works properly. You critted another. You utter bitch. <laughs> it's alright, a few more steps and we're in another battle. Yes, a Ratata. <coughs> a Kakuna Ratata. There we go, that's better. Whip, whip. Bag, items, Pokeball, use, yes. Right, that's our two junks. Bloop, bloop. Right, the only thing I find annoying is... Oh, right, there's two, there's two things I do need to change before we continue. Potato was dead, it was out of Pokedex. Living everywhere, there is food available. It ceaselessly scavenges for edibles in its entire day. Give her a name to... no. Right, uh, two things I want to change. Well, one thing I want really want to change is this. I think it's number seven. That's better. Right, we'll make them fast. I wish there was a button that would get rid of the annoying ding ding every time we go through an option. Because when we're sorting out the PC box, it becomes very fucking annoying. <laughs> hood, hood. Do not kill it. What is it with this chicken ranch? It's just she must just fucking hate hoot hoots. Right, I would like a hoot hoot and a ratata, please, so we can add them to the box. <laughs> and this will be sorted into national dex order, not Pokedex order. So, uh, for those who didn't like watch the Zero episode, because basically it was just like me going over the rules. Uh, Basically, we're going to do the same this series as we did in the last, you know, can't do the Pokemon League to beat Pokedex. Uh, we will be using some other games to bring in Pokemon that are physically unavailable, but we are just mostly interested in Gen 1 and 2 on this. So, we will have to bring a Celebi in at some point. I'm working on that elsewhere. <laughs> because we need that for one of the events, plus it is a Gen 2 Pokemon. Just as I need to also bring in a Dialga, di uh, yeah, Dialga or Palkia, because you need them for an event later in the game. But that'll be done right at the end of the game. No, I don't want to give a nickname to Hoot Toot. We also need a Rattata, but I'm sure we'll encounter one of those on the way. They're literally everywhere. <laughs> Oh, right, right now. Tackle. Whip, whip. <coughs> Do I take all four starters to the end? 
along with a flyer and some elves. A bit boring, I think. Ugh, give me something I've not seen. Come on. That's probably not going to happen until daytime. I'm not interested in fighting you anymore. You're just you're not worth it. experience or catch wise. Bloop, bloop. What do we get? Grun. We got the Grun Apricon. Right. Let's go heal up, and we'll see if the training works. If I've set things up correctly. Yes. Sweet, that animation works. Everything, well, overworld stuff all seems fine. That doesn't seem to bug out. It only seems to be other animate. Well, we'll see when we get to the summon sprite. That one should be fixed now. Right, so if we've done everything correctly, this should now. Yes, 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 save. We've got no previous saves, so I can actually save once. We used 44 minutes already, Jesus. Sweet, it, it, it worked. Talking to Cheddar. Hello! Raven has contacted you. Awaiting a response from Raven. Uh, I'm pressing buttons, it's not coming up. This is Cheddar. Uh, trade. Offer me a trade. Will you accept the trade offer? Yes. So, sweet. So, the trade system on this works. It's that's actually really smooth. I'm going to give you... You've already got a Utu, so I will give you a Ratata trade. In exchange, I would like your Totodile. Seems like a fair trade to me. Then you unlock a new Pokemon, and I unlock a new Pokemon, and everyone is happy. I'll take really good care of it, Cheddar. <laughs> because it's a major cheese. <laughs> Kind of like the animation. Yes, it's quite good. Wait, we're, we're inside a building, so why is the Pokeball going up into the sky? That was really smooth, really. I like how they did the new Union rooms on this. It's a lot better than. It was a lot better than what we're doing to pratt around with Leaf Queen and Pratt Red to get that to work, <laughs> to be honest. So yeah, this Game Boy is, well, this DS is smooth. It's very smooth. Sorry, that's all I want to do. Right, so we've got the total out. That's everything, we're good. And quit this one, yep. Nope, that's everything. Oh, right, uh... Yeah, sure, we'll mix records, because that does something, if I remember right. It, like, mixes your trainer IDs for winning battle, uh, for, uh, things, or whatnot. The icon on my screen I've turned into thingy, back into my original icon. I need to find that. And update it. Okay, that's everything I need to do with Cheddar. So Cheddar's now going to leave. And then I'm going to load my other state, which is state 8. Uh, welcome to the Wires Club, yeah. Would you like to enter the room? Yes. 
yes, we'd like to save. Yes, 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 yes. There's no save on that one because it's a new state. <sighs> I need to stop pressing the speed one. Right, just give it a sec. Oh. I think that was Cheddar. I don't think the game quite realised Cheddar had left. Right. So, and here we have our good old friend Cheese. Cheese is a combat man. And in his game, I'm an old lady. Which kind of makes sense. We both have grey hair and a pony cap. Hers is a lot smaller. Maybe I should have used hers. Hmm. Oh, too late now. I would like to trade with Cheese. Yes, I would like to trade. Yes. Yes, please. A trade has started. Right. Oh, he also has a hoot hoot. We'll send him another hoot hoot. You can have the male hoot hoots, because I prefer the female Pokemons. Mm -hmm. And we will take your Cinderquill. See, so, because if I was actually doing this in real life, I'd be doing this with a friend. And chances are, we would have it set up so he would trade to me the Cinderquill and the Totodile. And then he'd probably send to me another Cinderquill and Totodile. So we've got two of each. So, well, I've got two of each of them. And he'd start the game again and pass that with Chikorita and I'd send the two of them back. So we've all got all three starters. Or we'd just breed. That's, that's another option. We could just use breeding. I missed my bin. God damn it. Sweet. So we've got all three starters now. And they're good for breeding. Nice. And we'll mix records with cheese. And that'll be the last we'll see of cheese. Or cheddar. Unless I need them for something else down the line. It's unlikely. The next Pokemon character we'll probably see will be Comet. Who will be playing gold on my phone. And he will be running to get the other Pokemon. Like I know later on we will have to do a safe state thing where I have to uh, get, certain, get to a certain point and then sit, do a safe state so I can play so far into the game. Get a, so, well, it's basically a safe state, get a Pokemon, trade that to this account, then reload the state. Well, it will probably be safe state, get the Pokemon, save that state as one file, then reload the state and get the other Pokemon, save the state again, so I've trade both in, because when it comes to the Gen 1 starters, you could only get one of them per game. And it's not based on your starter, you just get to choose, as far as I can tell. And to what I've also looked into, it seems you can also do the same thing with the Gen 3 starters. Yeah, we'll make some records. But this is us now basically now set up, we're ready to fully play the game. So once again, look, I'm back with that icon. I need to change that. So, yeah, it, it's it's annoying, but we do need to get them because they are available to us. Right, sweet. Let's return to Union Room. I'm not going to close that Game Boy because I don't need it. And then we're just going to leave. Sweet. That gives us all the start of Pokemon. I think that is roughly the end of the first episode. We've been playing for about an hour. So I am thinking I might need to edit some of my sprites because, let's say, she has a really long ponytail in this one, whereas, let's say, like, the old woman had a really short one. And it just looks weird when it flips back and forth. So I might actually increase the length of the ponytail in the moving sprite. But it won't be for a few episodes because, let's say, I record a lot of it at once. Anyway, guys, so cheers for joining me on this episode. Uh, I hope you've had fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, there's a lot more to this season to go yet. Oh, I'm not in the right spot. We were standing there. So, yeah, season two. It, it begins now, I guess. <laughs> so it's going to take us a while to get through this. There's a lot more to do. The story's a lot bigger. But hopefully, what, how many Pokemon are in this generation? Uh, look, there's going to be some people out there who know this off the top of their head. I don't. I don't remember this anymore. Right. So Celebi is the last Pokemon. So 251. Let's see if we can complete this get this series in less than 251 episodes. 
and less than 251 hours of gameplay. That also includes having to get the Gen 3s and 4s that are available in this game, not trading in unless it's necessary, like uh, parking Dialga. So, until then, guys, take care, enjoy yourselves, have a good time, and always remember, I'm here tomorrow to have five years. So, see ya!